Since we're only asked how many solutions satisfy this equation, all we need to do is generate quick graphs of two of these functions and see where they intersect. For students who need more review of graphing trig functions, I'm going to go and do that in detail to start. Then I'll provide a quick shortcut so we can generate these even more quickly, and then we'll solve the problem. And I'll have bookmarks in the video description so you can go to those parts quickly. Let's start by graphing y equals cosine of x over two. We'll use our unit circle for reference and pick convenient values of x over two. We'll start, we'll start with x over two is equal to zero. Cosine here is the x coordinate on the unit circle, that's equal to one. I like pi over three because the cosine is one half. When x over two is equal to pi over two, up at the top, cosine is zero. At two pi over three, cosine is negative one half. Down here at pi, cosine is negative one. We're graphing x against the cosine of x over two, so let's calculate the corresponding values of x by multiplying by two. We're only interested in the interval from zero to two pi, so I'll just stop here. The range of cosine is from one to negative one, and the range of x here is from zero to two pi. Let's plot some of these points. When x is equal to zero, the cosine of x over two is equal to one, that's up here. When x is two pi over three, the cosine is at one half, that's there. When x is pi, x over two is pi over two, cosine is zero. At four pi over three, we have y is equal to negative one half. And finally at two pi, our cosine function is at negative one. I'm gonna to attempt to draw this, but again, for the purposes of solving this problem, yuck, let's try that again. We don't really need a lot of accuracy. Let's graph y equals the tangent of two x. We'll keep in mind our unit circle and the fact that tangent is equal to sine over cosine. We have in the first quadrant and the third quadrant that our tangent values are positive. In quadrants two and four, our sine functions have opposite signs, S-I-G-N. So in quadrants two and four, our tangents are negative. Again, let's start with our input 2x is equal to zero. That's over here on the right of our unit circle. Sine is zero, cosine is one, so the tangent is zero. A convenient value for tangent is pi over four. That's where the sine and cosine are the same, so the tangent is one. As we approach pi over two, sine approaches one, but the cosine gets smaller and smaller. So this ratio becomes larger and larger. So we start to approach positive infinity. When we get past pi over two here in quadrant two, our tangent function is negative. Cosine is also very small. So our ratio becomes very large, but very negative. When our angle is three pi over four here in quadrant two, our tangent is negative one. And at pi, the tangent is zero again. At five pi over four, sine and cosine are the same, so tangent is one. At three pi over two, again, we approach positive infinity when coming from the left side. And because tangent is negative in the fourth quadrant, we're at negative infinity. At seven pi over four, Again, we have a tangent of negative one, and at two pi, tangent is zero again. Since we're graphing y against x, let's calculate our x values by taking one half of two x. These values of x only take us through half our interval, but we see that this is a cyclic function, so it's just gonna repeat this pattern from between pi and two pi. Let's go ahead and graph this. We note that our asymptotes occur at pi over four, and three pi over four. So it looks something like this. When x is zero, our tangent is zero, so we have a point here. As we get closer to pi over four, the tangent function approaches infinity. At pi over two, our tangent function is zero again, and it goes from negative infinity to positive infinity as we travel from pi over four to three pi over four. We can already see a couple of intersecting points. We have two so far in these intervals. At pi, our tangent function is zero again. This is actually another intersecting point. I think we can see that our pattern is gonna repeat between three pi over four and five pi over four. So something like this. And then again, between five pi over four and seven pi over four. 
And then finally, between 7 pi over 4 and 2 pi, where our interval stops, and we collect more intersecting points, counting them 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We have five intersecting points. Now let's see if we can generate this graph even more quickly. For the tangent function, we recall that if 2x is in the interval between 0 and pi over 2, then the tangent of 2x goes from 0 to positive infinity. This corresponds to an interval for x between 0 and pi over 4. And if 2x is in the interval from pi over 2 to pi, our tangent function goes from negative infinity back to 0. This interval for x is pi over 4 to pi over 2. We can also check the interval for 2x between pi and 3 pi over 2. Tangent here again is between 0 and positive infinity. The corresponding interval for x is from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 4. We see that we have asymptotes at pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4, so that gets repeated at 5 pi over 4 and 7 pi over 4. And when x is 0, tangent is 0. And as we approach pi over 4, tangent approaches positive infinity. From here, you might remember that this is what our tangent function looks like. And we can just sketch it without worrying about being too accurate. And we stop at pi over 2. And we do the same thing for the cosine function. We know that if x over 2 varies from 0 up to pi over 2, cosine goes from 1 to 0. In terms of x, this is the interval from 0 to pi. And as x over 2 goes from pi over 2 to pi, cosine goes from 0 to negative 1. In terms of x, that's the interval from pi to 2 pi. To me, cosine is a more familiar function, so I think it's easier to graph. When x is pi, cosine is 0, so I'm going to put a mark here. When x is 0, cosine is 1. When x is 2 pi, cosine is negative 1. Connecting these three dots gets us a, an approximation of the sine function. And again, we count the intersecting points. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that's our answer.